Looking for an alternative energy source that is carbon free? Do you want an energy source that is being used right now? Interested in finding an energy source that will be able to provide more than 10% <laughs> of the United States. And solar thermal power is just what you're looking for. Uh, what is solar thermal power? I'm glad you asked. Throughout the day, even if it is overcast, the radiation from the sun warms our planet, and we can harness this energy, using it to generate electricity. Solar thermal energy is a form of energy that harnesses solar energy to create electricity for residential and industrial use. Now this cannot be harnessed through solar panels. Instead, we will have to use power plants. These power plants will use this sunlight to indirectly generate electricity. There are two types of thermal systems, passive and active. The kind that is most useful is active. An active system requires some way to absorb and collect solar radiation and then store it, such as power plants. In these power plants, heat from the sun will be collected by mirrors and then used to heat the fluid. After this, the heated fluid will create steam that will then power the generator, creating electricity. In many of these plants, there will be mirrors that concentrate and reflect sunlight, receivers that collect solar energy and convert it into heat energy, and a generator that will convert this heat energy into electricity. Wow, that sounds awesome! How long will you have to wait till you have this kind of energy source? Actually, Ava, people have been using this energy to produce electricity for years now! These are also known as linear concentrator systems, and they are able to generate up to 80 megawatts of energy. that into perspective, one megawatt can power 750 to 1,000 homes. These plants are shaped like a half pipe and are covered with more than 900,000 mirrors and reflectors that are able to follow the sun as it moves east to west. Because of the generator shape, it is able to reach operating temperatures of about 750 degrees, which can concentrate the sun's rays 30 to 100 times their normal intensity, intensity onto water and steam pipes. You can find many of these generators in California in the Mojave Desert right here in the United States. This project, known as Ivanpah, is the largest thermal energy project in the whole world. These three power plants serve more than 140,000 California homes during the peak of the day. They also reduce the carbon dioxide emissions by more than 400,000 tons per a year. So you're saying this type of energy saves the earth and is already in play in many places around the world? That's exactly what we're saying. And unlike many of these fossil fuels and other renewable energies, the sun and its energy is extremely consistent and seems to be lasting for five billion more years. But wait! What? 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 Will this be expensive compared to other energy sources? That's a good question, Ellie. Well, since solar thermal energy will help reduce the CO2 that is permitted in the air, this will also help reduce global warming, which is projected to cost the government billions and trillions of dollars to help reduce. Also, since you don't pay for the sun's energy, you would just have to pay for everything up front, which is already saving a lot more money than many fossil fuels. So if you're looking for a reliable energy source, solar thermal energy is the right thing for you. <laughs> it saves energy, costs less, and is available and in use as we speak. Solar thermal energy, putting the soul in solar.